What? I said I was going to do it, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. If it's your first time here and you love Destiny and learning all things about the game, then subscribe and click on the bell icon, that way you guys don't miss out on anything. Now, Zert is back and he has been back for a while. It is week 18 and Zert was here on Friday, however, I was in the hospital, which is why I didn't get a chance to do this video. And like I said in my last video, I'm going to do it anyways, because it's recommendations for what I feel that you guys should and should not get. And yeah, let's just get straight to it. So Zer is located on the EDZ by the Winding Cove. We're going to mark him and we're going to head over there right now. I'm not going to lie. I love Ikora's ship. It looks pretty cool. At least with this shader it does. Zer, What's up, dude? So like always, we're going to start with the left hand side with the weapon of the week. We have the Colony, which is a void grenade launcher. Intrinsic perk on this is insectoid robot grenades, which this weapon's grenades are insectoid robots that chase targets and explode close to them. Then we have linear compensator, high velocity rounds, serve the colony, which except insectoid robot grenades quickly repopulate the magazine from reserves while the colony is unequipped. And then we have composite stock. And like all exotic weapons, they come with a plus five weapon attack mod. So I'm just going to say this right now. Go ahead and grab this. I I'm not going to do any craziness. Go ahead and grab this. This thing is definitely top tier, if like ridiculous, like tier 1.5, if not a tier 1 in PvP. And PvE, it's okay. It does pretty decent on bosses for damage. But if you're playing this in PvE, then you might want to hit the boss with the actual round. It'll do a little bit more damage. But... It does pretty good against ads as well, uh, as long as you have a lot of them all, you know, grouped up together. But definitely go ahead and grab this. This thing is great in PvE and PvP, and pretty much enough said. Just grab it. Next exotic we'll be going over is the Shinobu's Vow for the Hunter class. And this comes with two mobility and one resilience. In terms of perk on this is new tricks, which improves skip grenade, and you gain an additional skip grenade charge. Then we have mobility enhancement mod plus steel reinforcement mod and this also comes with an energy bracket mod that gives you plus five defense now this is a good exotic for your pole dancer i definitely use this on mine i don't have an exotics on it right now uh because i'm hoping to get one you know we'll see if i get it but i do use the shinobu's vow as well as the uh raiden flux <laughs> as a lot of people uh give me crap about but yes I probably would use the Radiant Flux first before the Shinobu's Vow, but if you do not have the Radiant Flux, then go ahead, grab the Shinobu's Vow. It is still a good exotic to use, and yeah, that's pretty much all I can say. For the Shinobu's Vow, though, it is probably a lot better in PvP than it is PvE, but that's not to say that you can't get the effects off in PvE as well. So I'm going to rate this a Tier 2 in PvE as well as PvP because it is a good exotic, and you guys definitely should get it. Next exotic we'll be going over is the Mark 44 standard size for the Titan class. This also gives you a two mobility as well as one resilience. Intrinsic perk on this is seriously, watch out. Which grants an overshield when sprinting at full health with seismic strike, hammer strike, or shield bash equipped. Hits with these abilities recharge a portion of your melee energy. Then we have mobility enhancement mod. Restorative mod, and this comes with a plus 5 defense in an acceleration mod. Now, Mark 44 standard sides are okay. It's not like the 100% go to exotic to have for the Titan. It's. Eh, it pretty much relies on you having to sprint in order to get the effect off, so. It's not bad, but I do feel like there are better exotics out there, so. I am going to have to give this a tier 2 in PvE. I'm sorry, a tier 2.5 in pve as well as pvp because i do feel like there are better exotics out there just saying uh the Actium war rig hands down is definitely better than a mark 44 standard sides imo but i don't know this is it's, a, it's an okay exotic you know i still feel like there are better ones though 
Last but not least, we do have the Stag for the Warlock. This gives you a 1 Resilience and 2 Recovery. And Transic Perk on this is Dearly Departed. We are gathered here today. I'm joking. Um, <laughs> Dearly Departed grants Rift Energy when you are critically wounded. On your death, creates a brief healing rift on your corpse. Then we have Plasteria Reinforcement Mod, Restorative Mod, as well as Self-Repairing Mod. Now, the Stag is a decent exotic. I wouldn't call it a top tier. This is probably the answer to Destiny's uh, Self-Res, <laughs> I guess. Because uh, Destiny 2, they took Self-Res away. So I guess they replaced it with the Stag to try to help out a little bit. But, uh, nah, I'm not feeling this that much. It's okay in... You know, PvE and PvP, so I'm going to give this a tier 2.5 to tier 3 as well uh, in PvE and PvP. And this also comes with a self-repairing mod, which gives you a plus 5 defense. And, yeah, I'm not a fan of the stag that much. There are better exotics. Uh, Orphe, uh, I'm sorry, I was going to say Orpheus Rig. It's on my mind, apparently. <laughs> Affinian Aspect is definitely a top tier. Kernstein armlets are okay, but uh, Nezarek Sin is definitely a top tier for the Warlock as well. I would definitely use the Nezarek Sin in the um, Ophidian Aspect before the Stag. And let's go with your wonderful consumables. We do have three of coins, which will give you a chance to receive an exotic engram for four hours for 31 legendary shards. And this week, can we get the Actium War Rig? I'm sorry, can we get the not what Actium Warwick got oh my god <laughs> uh my 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 mind's somewhere else right now I'm like mixing exotics up <sighs> I want the damn hunter boots the good hunter boots for PvE that's what I want <laughs> the rigs there you go we're just gonna call them the rigs because I'm not the Orpheus rigs there you go that's what I want <laughs> can we finally get it this week or is it going to give me some shitty ass freaking exotic that I don't want that happens to be for my hunter's legs? Let's find out. I knew it! I freaking knew it! Damn you, Stumpies! Ugh. This game hates me. It really does. Well, it looks like apparently next week I will be getting the Orpheus rigs, and it's not going to happen this week because, yeah, I hate this game. It always gives me freaking exotic duplicates of ones that I don't want and exotics that I don't want either. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these other two Destiny videos. You never know. You might just like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time. Damn you freaking stumpies. I hate you.